Hello, Paula Daniele from Crochet Hooks You here and these are my craft show crochet baby booties and I always get very excited about making baby booties for some reason. Um, I think it's because they're, they're just so easy and quick to make and, and it's a really quick achievable product. So I designed these booties with um, craft shows in mind and what I mean by that is that I had I had to design uh, the pattern that could be crocheted up very quickly and still look nice and can be packaged easily. And yes, I do allow permission for you to use this pattern and this tutorial so that you can make and sell these booties. Uh, now, I've chosen Red Heart with Love Yarn. And the reason that I choose this yarn for this design is because its thickness allowed me to make the booty very quickly and it's the right softness um, needed for baby skin as well. Now the price of the yarn also came to mind um, and it's affordable and also you can get an absolute truckload of these booties just from one of these balls of yarn. Now, as you can tell, I've put quite a bit of thought into these craft show booties. Um, now, I also uh, show you how to package them up. And basically what you do is you can cut half an inch piece of cardboard. And you just pick up this cardboard from your, your craft store or or do what I've done is just rip the back off a, um, a writing pad and you just measure across about well, what's it six inches and half an inch wide and you just pop these into the booty like this and this allows the shape of the booty to stay to stay firm when it's packaged in the bag which I'll show you as well what I use I use these clear plastic bags if you can see that they're obviously see through um, and they've got a little sticky piece on the top there so it's easy you just pop them straight in and I picked up a bag of 25 for two dollars so once again you can get these from your craft store or one of your cheapy stores um, in your local area and when you're placing the booties into the bag I like to do it this way you can obviously see that the booties do fit in there and with that cardboard it does allow the booty to stay in its right shape. Now you can also just pop a business card in the back there which is great advertising for your business um, and then you can just seal that up and stick that like that and then pop your price here so ten dollars five dollars it's up to you however much you're going to sell them for now it's up to you uh, how you want to do your finishing touches um, you can place a button on the top you can use a piece of cord the pattern does allow for a cord or a ribbon to be threaded through on the last round you can make it in two colours, you can make it just plain, or when you finish off you can just leave a little tail at the back there, sort of like a, I don't know, just a little loop, or you can do a tie there, a, a bow. So there's just a few ideas of what you can do with this baby pattern. So today in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you the newborn to three month size and I'll give you a close up 
so that you can actually see what we'll be doing. So there's a side view, there's a bottom view, this is the front and back. And that's what it looks like as plain. So there's still a really nice booty just as plain. I, I quite like them just like this. Now materials required, as I said, I'm using the Red Heart with Love range and today I'll show you in the colour Mango. And I'll be using a 6mm hook and you'll also need your scissors and a yarn needle. So to start the pattern, we'll make a slip knot and you can just leave only a small amount there because we'll be working that into the bottom of the sole. So just to save yarn, you don't need a long end there. And we're going to start at the sole with six chain stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then for round one we'll do one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So one, two, to the single crochet into the second chain from the hook, and then we'll do a single crochet into each of the next three chain stitches. There's one and into the next chain a single crochet then into the next chain one single crochet. Okay, so now we're up to the last chain stitch here. And with this last chain stitch, we're going to do five single crochet stitches into that chain stitch. But for the first one, the first one is a little different. So insert your hook into that chain stitch and put the tail over the hook like that. And this is slightly fiddly. We do want to make that single crochet stitch over that tail just for this first single crochet stitch. Okay so that's fine. So it's back there, you can leave that back there for now. And now we'll put four more single crochet stitches into this last chain stitch. Done one, two, three, four, and there's our fifth single crochet into that last chain stitch. And you'll notice that we are now on the opposite side of the foundation chain and we'll be working into these unused or free loops that's what they're called. Now we will need to pull up this tail here because we'll be working over that as we go. So now we'll be doing one single crochet into each of the next three unused loops. So insert your hook into the next one and you can see where it is because you can see where you've done your single crochet on this side so you need to match it up on this side so go into those unused loops and here's our tail we want to put that over the hook 
because we're doing our single crochet over it. So there's one single crochet into the first unused loop. Now we're going to do the same for the next unused loop and working over the tail. There's two. And now we'll do our third one here into the next unused loop and over the tail do a single crochet. That's what it's looking like so far. And it's okay if that's a bit gappy. It will come together later on. So now into the last unused loop here. You can see it's the... You pull it out like that. You'll see two, two strands there. And see where that space is there that's where you need to go into and we're going to go in there and working over that yarn tail and we're going to do two single crochet stitches so there's our first one and do a second single crochet stitch and now leave that tail behind, you don't need it anymore. Now we're going to join with a slip stitch into this first single crochet stitch that we made. So under both of those loops of that first single crochet stitch and then make a slip stitch and that joins that round and that's the end of round one and that's what it looks like and you can cut your little tail off now so for round two we'll start off with a chain two so one two and then we'll do one half double crochet into this same space as the chain two and if you pull it up like that, you can see the space there where that white is. So we want to do a half double crochet into the same space as that chain two. So and now we're going to do a half double crochet stitch into each of the next three stitches. So into the next stitch do one half double crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet Okay, and now we're going to do two half double crochet stitches into each of the next five stitches. So into this next stitch, do your first half double crochet stitch and into that same stitch, do a second half double crochet. This is where we're increasing at the toe area here. So into this next stitch, do our first half double crochet. And into the same stitch, do a second half double crochet. I'm just going to get more yarn. Now into the next stitch, we'll do one or our first half double crochet stitch 
and to the same stitch a second half double crochet stitch. Now we're going to do the same in the next stitch. One half double crochet and into the same stitch a second half double crochet. And then we're moving along to the next stitch and we're going to do the same. So we do our first half double crochet into the same stitch a second half double crochet and now we're going to do one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches so into the next stitch we do one half double crochet Moving along to the next stitch, one half double crochet. Moving along to the next stitch, one half double crochet. And now we've got two stitches left here. So into this next stitch, we're going to do two half double crochet stitches. So here's our first half double crochet into that stitch and then we're going to do a second one into that same stitch. Now into the next stitch we'll do the same. So here's our first half double crochet and into the same stitch a second half double crochet stitch and now we're going to do a slip stitch into the top of the chain 2 so you can count here there's the first chain and there's the second chain and we want to join in under both of those loops and sometimes if you've done a chain too tight they are fiddly to get into and I always forget to do it loosely you would think I would learn after all these years so there you go slip into both of those loops of the chain 2 and we're going to make a slip stitch to join that round and that's the end of round 2 and that's the end of making the sole so that's done so now we're going to work on the sides of the booty. So for round three we'll start off with a chain one and we'll be working into the back loops of each stitch and the back loops are these loops here. Those are the front loops, those are the back loops. Okay, so we've chained one and now we're going to do one single crochet stitch into the same space as the chain one but only into the back loop. So if you can see that there, I'm just going into the back loop. And making a single crochet stitch and into the next stitch working into the back loop only see there's the front loop there's the back loop 
just doing a single crochet into each of the back loops. And that's all we do for this round. Single crochet into each back loop of each stitch right around. So I'll let you continue on doing that and I'll see you around here to join. So I'm up towards the end of round three and I've just done my last single crochet stitch into the back loop of this last stitch here. Now just a word of warning a lot of people like to make an extra stitch into this join here and this will make your booty wonky don't stitch into this join it's just a join and you'll be able to know that it's the join see there's the last stitch there there's a join there was the chain one at the start of the round and that was our first single crochet stitch so it's just a join not a stitch to be stitched into so at the end of this round we're going to do a slip stitch into this first single crochet stitch join with a slip stitch and that's the end of round three okay so it's starting to look like a little boat now we're up to round four and we'll start with a chain one and we're going to do one single crochet stitch into the same space as the chain one and it's right there you can see where that white spot is there and that's where we place our first single crochet stitch and now for this round what we're going to do is do one single crochet stitch into each stitch around right around to the end so it's very easy this round and we're working under both loops of the stitches last round we just worked into the back loops but now we're working under both the front and back loops of each stitch so I'll let you continue on making your single crochet stitches into each stitch around and I'll see you at the end of this round to join I'm up towards the end of round four and I've just made my last single crochet stitch into the last stitch here and there's our join that was our chain one and here's our first single crochet stitch and we're going to join into that single crochet stitch by making a slip stitch and that's the end of round four so now we're up to making the top of the toe so for round five we'll start off with a chain one and then we'll do a single crochet stitch into the same space as the chain one there and then we'll do one single crochet into each of the next four stitches Here's one, two, three, four. 
Now we're going to do a half double crochet two together over these two stitches. So there's a half double crochet two together and now we're going to do another one over these two stitches here. And there's our second half double crochet two together. Now we're going to double crochet two together over these two stitches. So there's a double crochet two together and now we're going to do another one of those over these two stitches. So there's our second double crochet two together. Now we're going to do a half double crochet two together over these two stitches. So these are half double crochet two together and we're going to do another one of those over those two stitches. A half double crochet two together. So now that we've done the toe part we're going to do one single crochet stitch into each of the next five stitches. Now this first single crochet stitch here will need to be fairly tight because you're coming down from a higher stitch. So there's one single crochet. There's two. three, four, five and that's our last stitch there and now we can see that our join is there that was our chain one at the start and here's our first single crochet stitch here and we're going to join in there with a slip stitch. And that's the end of round five. And that's what it's looking like at the moment. Okay, so now we're up to the edging. And this is round six. And this is the last round. So we'll chain one and then we'll do one single crochet into the same space as the chain one there. And then we'll chain one and we're going to skip one stitch and then do a single crochet stitch into the next stitch.
and then chain one, skip one stitch, single crochet stitch into the next stitch. And that's all we're going to be doing. So chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to chain one. And now we're going to do a slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch here. Make a slip stitch there. And that's the end. So we can cut our yarn. And finish off. And then you just put your booty into shape. Now with your yarn needle, depending on what you're going to do with your booty, you can use that uh, to, to make a bow at the back or if you want to weave it in then just weave it in down through the stitches here and then that'll be the end of the booty pattern and like I said you can add in a cord or a ribbon or a ribbon or a button it's totally up to you so if you'd like to share a photo of your craft show crochet baby booties then feel free to do so on the crochet hooks you facebook page